hello guys good afternoon welcome to another vlog okay as you guys saw last night or yeah in the evening i went to do my hair i just wanted to wash and do something that would make me look more presentable so yeah i just did my simple bakala with my hair and earlier on i had this headband this headband made by me from guma Bees creations you can order yours it's quite cheap 500 francs it's made out of um uh, african fabric wax okay so yeah it's cute it makes you look cute you can go with any hairstyle okay yeah so earlier i was taking pictures of this bag I was there making pictures of these bags. I think I've shown you guys in my previous vlog. I was taking pictures to start posting online for sales. Okay. That's what I've done today. And I'm also thinking about the next thing I'm going to produce. I'm thinking of making some clothing. Yeah, this is the second bag that I've made. The materials are good. It's affordable. Okay. If you're interested, okay, if you're interested in these, you can place your orders. I'm going to leave my WhatsApp, my business WhatsApp number in the description uh, section. You can get in contact with me and you can get yours. So, yeah, that's what we are doing today. We are just marketing, seeing how we can put in place our marketing strategy. Okay, yeah, so that's our the day so far it's a friday i'm glad it's friday tomorrow is saturday and then sunday is weekend you know just having that weekend feeling even though it doesn't make much of a difference at times because i'm walking throughout when you're working for yourself you can walk that's the bad part of working for yourself because you're always you can walk all the time and throughout so yeah guys that's my day so far i'm really glad i got my hair cleaned i feel so good i was only looking like a mad person hello guys it's evening time and Shh. you always shout when people someone is talking i don't want to so it's evening time and uh, i want to make something to eat i want to make dinner Honestly, there's food, but I don't really feel like eating it. We made uh, vegetable and banana yesterday. That's green. The last time I made it was so nice, and we had to make it again. So, so quiet. <laughs> so, we made it yesterday, and today I'm not feeling like eating it anymore, especially this evening. So, I want to transform the leftover banana into something else something more spicy okay so um yeah i'm going to show you guys a little bit of what i'm going to do so here's the banana i'm going to be using like this is the leftover banana and this one i kept it to get ripe but i want to add to this one and cook because well the leftover is not that much and i'm sure this food is going to be so sweet so I don't want to eat a little and then I begin to regret. So here's our banana we're going to use or transform. Also, I'm using some jangsa, white pepper, and there is onion, chopped garlic, and leeks. Okay. And then here is some pepper. Yeah, it's rotten pepper. It's getting bad, but I'm going to put some inside, just a little some oil and fish here i'm going to grind this ingredients okay i think this is the only thing i'm going to grind and maybe the pepper so yeah that's all about the ingredients this is some fish i just took it out of the freezer and yeah let's cook our pepperish banana something something
morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it's a new day. Dinner last night was lit, it was so tasty. I enjoyed it, and after that, I went to bed. So, this morning, I've been looking for inspiration for my next designs for my press for my brand, and it's been like two days, guys, and it's really difficult to come by, you know. You know it's 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 really been bothering me so when i don't get it like when a day passes and i've not gotten that if i had that that was the plan for the day and when i don't get the inspiration i need i just feel like i haven't i haven't achieved anything that day or i haven't been productive so this morning i've just been trying to see if i can get inspired i go to pinterest so i go to pinterest and i look at stuff depending on what I want to create and then I see how I can come up with something or see what uh, 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 convinces me or seems fit for my brand. So that's how I do to get inspiration. Sometimes inspiration, inspiration comes like that and sometimes I have to look for it and sometimes it comes and I have to what was that noise sometimes it comes and i and then i go online to see my options and see how much i can uh, 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 yeah how much i can do with the idea i have or how far i can go i wanted to jump into maybe beginning to make uh, stuff but at the same time i have to cook there's no real food in this house and since it's almost midday, people will soon be hungry, like this little girl here. So I have to think of making food first. If I I can start creating, but I'm afraid that sometimes I can get carried away and I will spend hours and hours because sometimes uh, you might want to create and it doesn't come out exactly the way you want. And you have to start making corrections and all the like. So yeah, I'm thinking of cooking first so that at any time... There is hunger, we can satisfy that. Uh, yeah, so that's what I'll do now. I'm surely going to cook. It'll surely be, yeah, it's rice and stew. These days, it's been stew, 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 rice, stew, rice. That's the January life. <laughs> January, January life. We are managing until January comes to an end, okay? We have to... All the chicken and the fish and the meats we've enjoyed during Christmas and New Year. Right now, we have to manage till January comes to an end. So I'm going to be cooking rice and stew with fresh fish. It's been a while I had fresh fish. Honestly, these days it's just been dry fish, dry fish, dry fish. So we're having fresh fish today. And I'm thinking that I will just boil the fish. I'm not in the mood to fly. We are going to boil the fish in the stew. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I hope I can do it fast enough so that I can get into creating. Because sometimes when my creative juice is flowing at, and it gets interrupted, we get back to, 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 to zero. <laughs> and we have to start, you know building that creative juice again so i just want to cook really fast i hope that by the time i'm done i'm still as inspired and motivated to create and we can come up with some wonderful designs and yeah i want to create clothing it's more of clothing that i want to make today so it's not going to be a fashion accessory like the bags i made i want to make clothing that's why I need all of my, I need to bring my A game, okay? Alright guys, let's go and cook this meal and get creative.
so guys today is um, the beginning of uh, uh, the Chan yeah so it's the African Nations huh? African Nations Championship Cup something like that it's the abbreviation is Chan not Can as the one we know and they are playing in Cameroon so yeah I'm trying to watch the opening match is about to start and Cameroon is playing I think Mali if I'm not mistaken Cameroon is playing Mali even though we are tired of watching the Lions or following them up because they can disappoint you when <laughs> they will disappoint you when you least expect or when you are really behind them you know but once in a while when we can or when we feel eager we just watch as for my creations I don't know <clears throat> after cooking and eating and putting this girl to sleep and now it's the match we'll see about working on the new designs I was thinking about uh, 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 later or maybe while I'm watching the match I don't know but yeah for now that's just what's happening and yeah let's hope that Cameroon will win at least it's the opening match now and we are the ones hosting let them at least win <laughs> Let them at least win this one. We just hope. Anyway, guys, I'll talk to you later. So it's Cameroon Zimbabwe for the opening match. But when I went online, I saw Cameroon Mali. I don't know how people do to put wrong information. Hey guys, it's been two weeks. What am I saying? It's been two days since I vlogged. I don't know why. Mental tiredness is, is real. Yeah, when I do a lot of mental work, it makes me tired, so I think I just needed this time to just rest. So I just made granola sweet. I felt like eating granola sweet, but when I look at what they were selling, Chimo, 50 francs was like this. So I realized that the only thing I lack is granola. Because I have sugar, I have water, I have gas. So I bought granuts and I made granuts with it's quite much. So I had to buy this one. It will cost a lot of money. And the way it has come out so well, it's making me to think about making granuts with to sell. Because so well made, so nice. Bananas. Hey guys, today is Friday and this is the next day. Yeah, so my grandparents sent me some food, a bag of food. Really, it's, it's, I feel so happy. <laughs> I feel so happy because if you know how it is here, especially in Yaoundé, food like that is quite expensive. I don't want to even talk about cocoa yams and yams. Those two, oh my god. They are really expensive. So yeah. We opened the bag. We actually collected the bag yesterday, like you saw. And yeah, in the night yesterday I couldn't help it. I just had to cook some of it and I just ate like that without soup. I I was just so eager to taste 
the yam, the coco yam, in fact everything. Well, that said, today is one of those days, okay? I'm happy I feel better today mentally. These days I've not been really okay mentally because like I explained to you guys at some point, I was thinking of what to do, like designs, and I was not getting inspired. And also on my mind, I've been thinking about my brand and all of that and exactly how to go about it. So, yeah, it's been a lot of brainstorming. It's been a lot of thinking these past days. And when I do not get to the right, you know, point, it really bothers me. But I'm happy that I've gotten to that point where I'm sure of what I want to do and the direction that my brand is going to take. So, yeah, I feel better. I feel good because I feel quite sure, you know. When you get to that point, your mind just tells you that this is it, right? It's true, I've felt that way many times, but you know, we are human, we change, we modify, we grow. As we see what other people are doing and as time and trends change, we also develop new ideas. So, uh, I've been changing, modifying, innovating a lot, and I'm happy that this path I want to take, I'm quite sure of it. For two reasons for one because i want to i don't see that information out there and also because i want to provide that information for other people to benefit from so those are the two reasons why i want to do this and the direction i'm taking my brand right now is just content i think i've mentioned this before at that point i was still at the research uh, stage I was still at the wandering stage but I just felt like that's what I want to do but now I'm quite sure okay and I'm already preparing content in that light and uh, I just want to share lifestyle uh, personal development for African uh, women because out there even on youtube when i do my research like when i search for content that really speaks to us you know like young us women african women who are striving to be successful african women who are following their dreams african women who are trying to be uh, to excel in their passion and following their passion i do not see such information very much we have role models we have people we want to be like but these people do not really give us, uh, they don't tell their stories very much. And they don't tell their stories very often. And we do not get the advice, the tips, the, the information that we need that reassures us that we can get there. And I think that's one thing that makes success a mystery in Africa or among African, especially African women. You know, when... Other women just see the success and everything. They feel like, oh, maybe she did something or she has a strong background or she comes from an influential background or maybe she sold her body to get to where she is or a man did, you know, some sacrifices for her or supported her for her to get there. So we have all those misconceptions because we do not actually see the journey or these models do not talk, these uh, role models, the people we admire in society, do not actually share their stories. They don't tell, uh, they don't share the story, yeah, and they don't tell their journeys, like really explain how they got there, what they did, and all of that. So it stays like a mystery to us, but it's very easy to see that from other successful people in other, like, European American uh, 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 women, okay, and those people, yeah, we can tap from their, from their, or get inspired from their stories. But let's not forget that our settings and our environments are not the same. To succeed in Europe, to succeed in America, it's not the same thing as succeeding in Africa. The challenges are different. The scenario is different, and it will just help some of us a lot if we can see these african women share their stories even men share their stories and say this is how i got here this is what i did here are the challenges i faced 
so i want my channel to be more of that that's why i've taken it upon myself to show my life as a blogger as a mom and as an entrepreneur because i know first of all blogging blogging is a rare <laughs> blogging is a rare thing here and i remember one time so my friends visited me and they were like i'm i'm in the house of a blogger i want to see i'm in the yeah you know i just i was like wow <laughs> what 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 makes the difference you know house of a blogger how does the blogger's house have to look like or how does it look like so yeah i feel like for someone who aspires to be like that or to do blogging it's going to inspire them to see my life to see how i live to see the things i do to see just my environment and how i go about my day or how i go about my activity or how i do the things i do so when i share is to inspire others and also to entertain others because not everybody who watches you aspires to do to be a blogger or an entrepreneur but what you do what you share with them can inspire them in their own various career paths or their own lifestyles so i feel like we need to actually tell our own african story and make content that is specific to to to, to the african woman to actually when i say woman i'm not talking about please don't think that is about the old no as long as you're a female you're african and you are already thinking of how to put your life together you're, together you're an african woman so and or even an african girl okay so it's just to inspire it's just to motivate and it's just to show like i said like show the way and be that role model that actually tells a story of how things are done from my own angle and i believe that if other if other african women do same it's going to be really great because it's going to give much more information much more perspective okay and let's not just succeed and stay quiet or stay in a corner we need to share our story we need to show the process because i know i'm in the process okay i'm getting there and i just want to show that process and show you that these are the challenges i face this is how i overcome them and this is how i am evolving and this is the success that i am getting okay so i just hope that this content will be quite interesting to a lot of you out there yeah it's new to me and i'm having and i'm having a, a hard time like putting together the content and asking myself like what where do we need help what exactly is a striving african woman or a striving cameroonian woman or a striving wherever you are as long as you're african what is your what 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 what, what do you need as information what do you want to know what do you want what what yeah what do you need in order to to help you grow what is going to make you feel motivated to feel inspired what are the problems you face that if i have information or any uh, experience i can share with you so yeah this week i've just been thinking a lot in that light so like i said these days i've been having a lot of mental work and it's been so tiring so and it's not been easy but at least i'm getting there okay just the certainty that this is the path i want to take at least for now okay i'm going to share with you everything that i can share and everything that i feel that can help and if there's anything or any information that you're looking forward to seeing you can always request or share with me in the comment section or using my email and uh, i'll see how i can make content on that okay so i just wanted to talk about that these past days i've not been so so uh, consistent with vlogging like i've some days i've spent two three days without vlogging and yeah on top of the fact that there was really nothing special to vlog about like life has just been the same and i didn't want to go showing you guys the same the same the same thing and since i've just been 
locked down mentally i didn't want to show that <laughs> the face of somebody who is uh, having that mental you know tiredness and all the like so yeah i just decided to have days where i'm off if i don't feel like vlogging i won't vlog so i'm going to end this vlog here but i just wanted to clarify this and let you guys know the direction we're going to take and we are going to have sit down videos a lot now alongside vlogs like this okay so my channel now is mostly about a view of my life uh yeah telling my story and as well giving the tips and the experiences that i get along the way i hope that this information helps you and puts you on the right path and helps you in whatever thing that you want to do and uh, one thing i just want to be as take away from this channel is that it is also possible to have an african dream it's also possible to have a cameroonian dream it's also possible to live that dream and succeed in in, in that dream okay so everything we have to do is to work hard to strive to invest in ourselves and in what we are doing and to be determined and also to inspire others it doesn't end with you succeeding but to inspire another person to also live and obtain that african dream Whew. so guys i think i've spoken so much <laughs> um yeah i'm just going to end this vlog here i think what else did i want to say um i'm about to shoot a video right now i want to put my daughter to sleep and then i'll shoot that video it's going to be a sit down video so it will be the first video on our new direction uh yeah some topics will be general but some actually but most of it i'm doing it with african women in mind okay so if you're cameroonian or any where you find yourself as long as you're african especially if you live in africa okay because i know that the 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 the, the, the dynamics are different for people who want to uh, who live in africa and who want to succeed in africa so yeah but wherever you find yourself if you can draw inspiration from this then great okay so yeah i'm going to sign off now something keeps telling me that there's something i wanted to say but i've forgotten mm, what is that what is that i just hope <laughs> i would like you to remember when i stop this video anyway guys you can see my christmas tree is still up the month is of January is almost done, but my Christmas tree is still up. I don't know. I feel so lazy to take it down, but I think I'll take it down maybe by the end of this month or beginning of next month. Okay. Uh, what else? Hmm. I honestly can't remember. I just feel like there's something else I wanted to mention, but I can't remember what it is. All the same, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking this video. I know that some of you do not really like sit down videos, but I hope that the topics will be interested, interesting enough for you guys to watch and watch to the end. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in my next one. <laughs> bye bye.